So digital pathology has been around for a very long time, and it's not surprising because pathologists, what we like to do is uh, document what we see. And digital pathology was used for many years, decades ago, to document autopsy findings and then, you know, to document gross pathology findings. And so basically we converted that operation to digital cameras. Today, you know, highly sophisticated labs have a digital camera above every gross workstation. Then eventually pathologists put cameras on top of their microscopes. And uh, once those were mounted, that allowed us to take snapshots or, you know, even a little later stream those images. And it's, you're right. And so at, at that point in time, before we were even able to scan an entire slide, we were able to take snapshots of patches and areas of interest on a particular slide. And then for, with that field of view, we were able to do a simple image analysis based on machine learning. The first and most popular ones were quantitative image analysis for the breast biomarkers. They're still the most commonly used image analysis algorithms in pathology practice today. And you are correct. And probably part of that adoption process is that there's reimbursement, the CPT code tied to that. Today, that's now all shifted to whole site imaging. The technology is way better, but it's also added complications because whole site imaging, it becomes more difficult to perform image analysis on a whole site image given the size of the file.